In this video, we will build a Snowflake pipeline that pivots data for aggregation. Let's see its capabilities and understand how it works. This pipeline uses two processors, Aggregate Processor that performs aggregate calculations and Pivot Processor that performs a Snowflake pivot, turning unique values in a field into new fields and aggregating the results. Let's see the Aggregate and Pivot Processors in action. First, we need to go to the Snowflake Cloud. Proceed to the Classic Console and then the Worksheet section of the Snowflake platform. Open a new worksheet and select the previously created warehouse, database, and schema in the top right of the UI. Notice that your warehouse should be activated. Now we need to create a table called Monthly Sales run the following query. You can see that our monthly sales table has been successfully created. It has several fields, employees ID, amount, and month. We have also added multiple values to these fields. Now let's run this query to pivot around the amount column to sum the total sales per employee for January, February, and March. Observe the output in the results window below. Now that this has been done, we are ready to start creating our Snowflake pipeline that will pivot the data for aggregation. Move over to your data ops platform. Proceed to Build and Pipelines. Once you are on the Pipelines page, click Create a Pipeline. You may title it Data Pivoting Pipeline. You can also give it a description, My Data Pivoting Pipeline. Select the transformer for Snowflake engine type and blank pipeline. Click Next. Keep the defaults. Finally, select Open in Canvas. From the empty canvas, you can start building a pipeline. Add a Snowflake table. Scroll down the Select Origin menu and pick the Snowflake table. Once the origin is added, click the Snowflake table icon. Move over to the General tab. Title your origin, raw sales. You can keep the origin type name in the description field. Next, move over to the table tab and specify the table name as monthly sales. In order to perform data pivoting, we will need to add the pivot processor. Select it from the processor dropdown menu and notice the origin automatically connects to the processor. You may title it Pivot Sales and keep the processor type name in the description field. Move to the Pivot tab. When you configure the pivot processor, you specify the field to pivot, as well as the pivot values. So we will have to add several settings here. Set the field to pivot to month. Check the Auto Calculate Pivot values. Set the field to aggregate to amount. Finally, set the aggregation field to sum. Now add an aggregate processor. Select the aggregate processor from the processor drop-down menu. Under the general tab, give your processor a name, aggregate by employee's ID. Add a description if needed. Under the aggregate tab, add three aggregations. Set the three aggregate functions to sum. Set the aggregate field to January, February, and March respectively. Provide a more detailed explanation in the output field name accordingly. Finally, set the group by fields value to employee's ID. Once this has been done, we can add the last element to our pipeline, a destination. Select the Snowflake table destination from the Destination drop-down menu. You may title it Total Sales by Employee's ID and leave the destination type name in the description field. Proceed to the Table tab and set the table name to Aggregated Monthly Sales. Next, set the right mode to append to table as it is by default. Keep the rest of the settings unchanged. 
Now we are ready to preview our pipeline to check it runs correctly. Click the I symbol at the top of the screen and run a preview. You may observe the preliminary output below the canvas. Finally, let's run this pipeline as a job. Go up and select Check-in. You may specify the commit message as My Data Pivoting Pipeline. Select Publish. Click Save and Create New Job. You may also specify a description and job tags if needed. Keep the rest of the settings as default. Select Start and Monitor Job. Monitor the job status at the top of the screen. Once it turns inactive, that means that the job has finished and we can check the result. To query the output, you need to go back to the Snowflake platform and proceed to the worksheet you've been working on. See the monthly sales table we had before we ran our pipeline. Now let's check the final output. To do so, run the query to see all the fields and values from the newly created aggregated monthly sales table. Observe the pivoted data that was aggregated the way we specified it. There you have it. In just a few steps, we have successfully built a Snowflake pipeline that pivots data for aggregation. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.